one. Sorry about that. my question once you see this. According to Detective Fulbright, this shows the orca attacking the victim. And the person in this footage is wearing an outfit just like yours, Mr. Plume. And I think I can guess why you're here at the aquarium. You aren't simply a visitor at the aqua to the aquarium. What you really are is a police investigator. A visitor who just happened to be a witness to the death of the aquarium owner. <laughs> it's not good for you to keep things inside, you know. I'm sure you'll feel a lot better once you get it all out. Tell me this badly, why don't you just have done something from the top? <laughs> Please call yourself Mr. Plume. That's top class badgering to you. The killer whale's calling in my own mind. Yes, I do have a problem with that. Did you start with telling me what you saw? It's the right moment the killer whale attacked the victim. I told the police what I saw as well. The sort of person who simply cannot rest until the truth is known. So 
Mr. Bloom's statement and the footage point to all his guilt. Tendencies? I don't think so. Orla is not violent. She's a sweet and gentle soul. Rumors are just a rumor, I said. Not necessarily true. No nasty to say. You're nothing but a nuisance. Come here day after day. Don't ever come back again. Sounds like her research was a bit too much to take. How did you get in here if you had been blacklisted? Sweetie is shameless. We won't, use, we won't let you speak badly of Orla. We're going to defend her. Let me see what I saw. Aquarium today to observe the killer cool whale. On my way, that thing's a tank. I heard the cries. You can hear all from the visitors' corridor. The speakers are in the corridor, up near the ceiling. Apparently, that speaker is there. Is the visitors can hear the sounds. Anyway, as I, as I approached the killer's kill whale's tank, I heard its cries. And when I arrived, I saw something terrifying. What did you see? The kill whale sealing the swashbuckler spectacular hat the owner was wearing. Not buying it. There was no blood on his. The only blood that was actually found it was on his head. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. I'm not buying it. Oh, bit the owner to death. Eh, eh. I'm not buying it. Detective Fulbright. I guess you've already heard it, too. I'm not buying it. 
He's not dangerous. Can we have that prosecutor take a look at the investigation reports? Not a chance. We'll just re-examine the case scene and strengthen our, strengthen our case. And all that stuff behind her. That was a pretty amazing wipeout. You hurt? Fina? Maybe she thought you were the main entree. <laughs> In any case, let's give the ball back to Orla. Huh? So everything got shifted, shifted around when I fell on it. I see fingerprints. And I highly doubt they're Athena's. Like another ball, I guess Orla really likes them. The hell? Is that a mannequin? Is that a blood stain? So, there is blood on it. It's dried blood. Mm, not sure. Now that we found blood outside the pool, might just help us prove that there is more to this case than the accidental, this accidental death. Speaking of coins, take a look at this. There are a few coins around the body here, too. Mm, that's what I'm thinking. That 
That looks like a mannequin. Ah, it's a dummy. Anything about this coin? Picked up all the coins already? So there really were more of them down there, huh? Well, how many there are all together? 300? Whoa. That is just for show. Sounds like they'd be heavy. Seven pounds of coins scattered around the scene. One of them with blood on it. Agreed. I wonder how that blood got on that one coin. Wait a minute. Maybe. Remember how Detective Fulbright said they... They couldn't find a murder weapon? One of those coins were the weapon. One coin by itself isn't much of a threat. However, 300 coins together could definitely be used as a weapon, especially if you have the way to do is put them in a bag. Put seven pounds of coins in a bag and swung it at somebody. It would make a pretty formidable blunt instrument, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it? It would explain how blood got on this coin. 
exactly. I don't see anything else from resembling a coin bag around here. Maybe the killer took it with them. It would certainly make it look like Earl did it if they did. I agree. It shows the possibility of the human killer rather than Orla. of the still a public danger. Let's go with this blood scene. Just have to get all worked up. We found this coin beside the orca pool. We just learned that there are 300 of these weighing about seven pounds in, in total. Now what do you suppose would happen if a person was assaulted with that many coins? Exactly, a blunt weapon. If the blood belongs to the victim, then yes, it's entirely possible. You wouldn't? Why not? Suspect has emerged. It's Prosecutor Blackwell that wants to prosecute a world? That figures. That's fine, Detective. Thanks for arranging this for us. Defending Roll in court idea from the first place. And I'll do whatever it takes to save her.
manage to get the case to go to trial. To be honest, I'm not really sure myself. I'm not buying that last part of the mark of biting the victim. It looks like there's only one piece of blood on the victim. That blood stain on his head. I said I should go over that swashbuckle with spectacular. You should watch it this way. There's nothing decisive against Orla and the security team, but it doesn't mean much. I have to find a more concrete way to see Wall uh, at tomorrow's trial or else. Everyone, I'm done for now. I might get trip I might continue this a little bit later, but most likely I won't. Probably continue this tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this during the weekend. If I can, I'll probably have to wait till next week. Hello everyone, this has been a sale of the Terror Death 99, aka the Black Cobra, and I will catch you all tomorrow.